Well, praise the Lord, church. <laughs> this is Pastor Brad Wright again. I'm coming to you live on Facebook. Um, I just wanted to give a final update um, what we did um, on this uh, last outreach that we did here in uh, India. Um, actually, uh, um, yesterday we went out to several of the local churches and ministered the message of the cross. And also, of course, we had uh, Sunday service with Pastor Vera Prasad and his church and his congregation. And it was such a wonderful time. Um, it's been a wonderful blessing. Um, the people are just hungry for the Lord. They're hungry for the message of the cross. Um, and it was just a great experience. Um, I believe many of them received the message of the cross. Um, and here in, the local, in these uh, local churches overseas, they're ready to receive it. Um, they enjoy it. They get excited about it. It gives them revelation about Jesus Christ, who He is, and, and truly what He's done and what the meaning of the blood of Jesus is all about and what it's really done um, for every believer if they just believe. Um, it's been a wonderful experience here this week. Um, we've seen people touched. We've seen people um, strengthened by this message, and that's really what God told me to do. Um, to come over here was to strengthen his churches and the way we strengthen the churches in the body of Christ is by preaching the blood of Jesus Christ and letting the power of the Holy Spirit have his way and that's exactly what happened this week um, and we've seen several people over the last week just get filled with the Holy Spirit we've seen pastors get filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence to speak in other tongues um, we laid hands on the sick and we prayed for believing uh, for a healing. And I don't think there wasn't one service that we uh, didn't do an altar call. And let me tell you, the, the people over here in India that love the Lord, they know how to pray. Um, the American churches could really take a lesson from that because everything they do, they always pray about everything. And I mean everything. <laughs> I don't think it was probably every half an hour to an hour... Uh, Pastor Vera or one of the congregations would come up to me and just say, pray, pray, pray for me, pray for me. And they're not scared to uh, come up to somebody and say, and, and that's what we did. So a lot of the times uh, that we was over here, we just pray for them, believing that the blood of Jesus made a way and their answer is on the way because their answer is in the cross. And, and, and it was a wonderful experience. Um, um, and, and I, I just can't say enough. And, and people really love the Lord over here. And, and we need, over in America, we don't understand this, but here in India there is persecution um, going on in India. Now, most of the persecution is up north um, where there's more Hindu extremists um, coming against the churches. Um, and down here in the south, the persecution isn't as bad. Um, but regardless, there is persecution everywhere, so we do need to keep India in prayer and believe that the Holy Spirit will move in this country as the message of this cross starts to spread around um, this country. So, But it's been a good experience um, today. Um, all the ministering is done. We ministered um, day one at some uh, local churches, and then day two we ministered at some local churches day uh, um and day three, we ministered at some local churches. And then yesterday, day four, we had service at Vera Prasad's church. And then we went around to two or three other local churches, ministered the message of the cross. Every single day, we went out um, to the local areas, to the local towns, and ministered to believers um, who needed prayer. Um, and so, and we didn't even get back till midnight, 1230 last night, um, just because we was doing so much ministering and just uh, going to the homes of believers and wanting prayer and praying for them and believing for them and telling them about what the blood of Jesus Christ has done and they were excited they were hungry for it and it really touched my heart I had several people several believers come up to me and want to give offerings um, for our ministry for coming over here and giving them the message of the cross and 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 words just couldn't express to me um, the love that they have because I mean in America we are blessed above and beyond financially while those overseas may not um, have as much finances, but they're blessed spiritually. And and for them to still want to give a donation to our ministry for bringing the message of the cross to them, it, it really touched my heart. And, and, and I have a heart for these people, just as the Lord Jesus does. Because again, he told me 
in a dream a year ago. He showed me the country of India, and he said, strengthen my churches. And that's exactly what we've done this week. Um, we've strengthened the churches with the message of the cross um, and letting the power of God move. Again, where we've seen a pastor's comments, we've seen several pastors get baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. We had um, altar calls and prayer for the sick, and we had one lady, and as I said before in the last update, and you'll, you can see it on the video where she came up and I laid hands and I, and I just prayed this way. I don't know why. It had to be the Lord. Um, and I just said, Lord, anoint her from on high. Fill her, Lord. And the next thing you know, her hands went up and she just started speaking in other tongues. And, and, and I just thank God for that. And that's, what it, and that's what we was here to do, to strengthen the churches and let the power of God have his way. Um, so praise the Lord. Um, today there is no more ministering. So... Um, the pastor and his family are going to come over. I'm going to sit down with them a little bit and fellowship with them, uh, talk with pastor before I leave. And then tonight um, um, I'm going to head back to the airport and then I will ca catch my flight tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. Um, so then, so keep me in prayer as I make start my journey home tonight. Um, and of course, when I get home, I will, me and my wife, Michelle, we will have a question and answers um, on our uh, program, Handfuls of Purpose, and sit down and talk about everything I experienced over here in India, and, and of course answer any questions to those who have been watching um, the services and seen the photos and that. But I've got day four videos up. I've got the day four video with Pastor Vera Prasad where we just did the basic teaching um, about the blood of Jesus Christ and everything is paid for. And of course I was able to record another service at the local churches where we talked about false apostles and false teachers. And I let the people know that after I leave, that there's going to be those who come from America um, who God hasn't sent and who doesn't have the message of the cross. And I, I gave them uh, the signs to look for when it comes to false apostles and false teachers and told them just because they're from America and they may be on a mission trip does not mean that God sent them. So we have to be very, very careful. And I told them they have to be very, very careful. Because if they're not preaching the message of the cross, if they're not preaching the blood of Jesus, if they're not letting the power of God move, um, then they're not of God. Then God didn't send them. I'm not judging their heart, but God didn't send them because there's only one message that sets the captive free. There's only one Savior who saves, and there's only one power source in, in, in the kingdom of God, and that's the... Jesus Christ and Him crucified and letting the power of God move in hearts and lives. Um, so God bless everybody. <laughs> um, so today we're just going to have a little bit of fellowship. Um, I'll try to post some pictures of some of the fellowship and um, the things I've seen over here. And again, when I get back to the studio, we'll have a questions and answers. So God bless everybody, <laughs> and I'll see you when I get back to the States.